Yes. Hi guys, I'm Hilda. And I'm Tamtu. And we just got out of the Konami booth where we saw the Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain presentation. Tactical espionage action. Exactly that, that what he said. Um, mm -hmm. I am completely new to the entire Metal Gear Solid franchise. I'm not. I know, but I'm just saying this because I am kind of ashamed of it. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna... Everything was new for me, so I'm just gonna ask you something. Okay. What was new for you? Well, they introduced the FOB system last night, and they showed it off first today, which is basically part of the mother base system. Now, the mother base system is where you build your own base in the game, and it, you can stay offline throughout the whole game as you gather resources like soldiers, uh, ammo, and all kinds of things. But if you go online, other players can raid your base for uh, for to steal your supplies or you can do the same thing to upgrade your base even faster now uh, they also showed that if you are playing the game while online you'll get a notification if someone is trying to raid your base and there we go fob invasions can happen at any time even during missions for the purposes of today's demo let's head back and teach this guy a lesson and that was it that was pretty cool what they showed uh, i it looks so good it does look really good, but I noticed that he talked a lot about um, the AIs who develop during the game. Is that something new to the game? I'm not sure, but uh, one guy at the presentation asked about the difficulty of the game. Now, when you start the game, it starts off as, uh, as if you've never played Metal Gear Solid before. And uh, if you can replay missions, and when you do, the enemies in the missions will remember what you did last time. So if you took a lot of headshots in a previous mission when you come back they might have developed new helmets that are stronger against headshots or if you uh, raided them at night they might be using flashlights so uh, the mission will always be the same but the experience will always be different and in that way the enemy AI evolves and that in that sense the difficulty evolves throughout the game as well exactly it just notices what you do the way you play and then it adapts to the way you play so it's always going to be a challenge for you however you play and that is something I really like about it yeah. so let's fulton them out safely before moving on and I believe this is the first time we're showing this this is actually an upgraded version of the fulton device that we call the wormhole extraction device Unlike a Fulton Balloon, it can't be shot down, making it much more reliable. You, being a new player, to uh, a new person to Metal Gear Solid, what, looking at this presentation, what amused you the most? There were two things I thought you were very, very amused by. I was amused by many things. No, yeah, it was two things. Um, I was very amused by the box moment where yes. he jumped into a box. Apparently that is not a new thing, but no. I loved it so much that I kind of want to crawl into a box right now. Really? Maybe we could find a box. <laughs> let's let's find a box. No, after this. <laughs> All right. Because one of the cool things about the box is that you can do so many things with it, not just hide in it. Uh, what we saw in the presentation was that he was sliding down the hill, and while you're in that box, it still keeps your cover. So uh, enemies might notice a box walking around, but they won't tag you as an enemy at first because they'll be confused as hell. What the hell is that box doing there? Exactly. Or there was part of a, a, a really old presentation, but you can also put some kind of stickers on the box. So you can uh, distract enemy soldiers by putting a, a sticker of a general, and they'll come to you and salute. Or put a sticker of a half-naked chick, and they'll come running. <laughs> so it's pretty much a decoy. Yes. That is awesome. <laughs> Alright, so here is D Walker. D Walker is a multifunctional robotic buddy that can be customized for either stealth or battle. So, there was another thing that I noticed you thought was very amusing, everyone else, by the way, and that was it, the extraction thing with the balloon. It, like, the first thing I saw was, a, I think, an enemy getting lifted up by a balloon, and then it was just like, whoosh, yes. Whoop, and that looked awesome, and I was like, this game looks so serious, but it has funny elements to it, and that's exactly. what I really like. And that's the funniest part about Metal Gear Solid 5. There's always a tongue-in-cheek moment like that, especially with that. Everything you uh, you extract, like soldiers or other supplies, will be used with that extraction balloon. Now, that's been around for a while, but in here, it's for everything. Even the loadouts that you call in are dropped in. Yeah. Now, speaking of loadouts, the loadout system is also implemented in Metal Gear Solid 5, where you can quickly have a set of weapons. Now, what they showed here was a set of uh, a balance set, 
uh, a lethal set and a non-lethal set. And in this presentation, they just mostly used uh, weapons that were non-lethal because they were going for a stealthy approach. And they completed the mission in such a way where they didn't complete all the objectives. Yeah. The main objective was to uh, extract the Spetsnaz commander and there were many ways to go at it and uh, that's one way of repeating missions, getting more bang out of your buck for a mission and just try to figure out what exactly those mission objectives are. Because they're all question marks, you don't know what it is, you just gotta try everything. Just gotta see mission. what the mission is and then do it. Mm -hmm. And you can do that with a buddy too. There is a buddy system that has, uh, I think there's multiple types of buddies, there's a robot, there's a lady that is wearing a bra who's very good at sniping. And what was the other one? Uh, there was the, the D-Walker and the horse. Yeah, and the fun thing about these buddies is that as you develop your friendship with these buddies, they become uh, better allies and they help you out better during the game. Yeah, and in the case of the D-Walker, uh, he gets upgrades like uh, a scout mode where he can tag all the enemies in the area for you so you don't have to do that with your binoculars again. All in all, Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain is looking to be a huge and massive experience for new and old Metal Gear Solid players. Um, it looked great, the gameplay looked solid. Uh -huh. uh. And really, this, is a, this game was still developed by Hideo Kojima, so any Kojima fans who are thinking less of Konami, at least get this game. This is his last work for the company, I suppose, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they'll make a new Metal Gear and maybe they'll understand the error in their ways and bring back Hideo Kojima. I'm Tamtu. I'm Hilda. And we'll be back with more Zooming Games coverage on Gamescom. What are you waiting for? Move!